What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Vaughn. And I'm here, so you know what that means. That means it's week 10 of the NFL season, and it's time for the sweat box locks of the week. This week started off with Thursday Night Football, so I'm coming to you a little late. That game already happened, but y'all saw, you know, what happened. Shouts out to my man Carson Palmer getting his first win out in Oakland. But we still got a full Sunday schedule and a Monday night game. Let's do the thing. Jacksonville, Indianapolis. <laughs> Indy has a chance here. Against the 6 Jacksonville team, that's not very good. Indy has a chance here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick them. I think they get off the losing. I think they get off the, get their first win. Yeah. I think they're going to get the win, and I think it's going to be 21-10, to 10, Indianapolis. New Orleans, Atlanta, this is a big division game. If Atlanta wins, they're tied up with New Orleans. Uh, it'll be big for first place. Uh, New Orleans is on the road. They struggle on the road. They're 2-3 on the road, so they struggle. And, uh, Atlanta's 2-1 at home, but uh, I think New Orleans finds a way to get this done, man. I do. I think Drew Brees is going to be on point, and uh, I think Darren Sproles is going to play a big, big role you know what I'm out of the backfield for, for New Orleans. So I'm going to go ahead and pick New Orleans. It's going to be some points put up, though. I think New Orleans gets it 42 to 36. Houston, Tampa Bay. This is going to be a pretty good game, too. Uh, Tampa Bay has underachieved so far. Going against what they did. They're 4-4. They're not terrible, but they've underachieved. Uh, Houston's looking like they they got this division almost. They're 6-3. But, uh, uh, actually, I think Tampa's going to get this. They're at home. Houston's on the road. I think Tampa's going to get this. And I think Tampa gets it uh, 24 to 20. <coughs> Excuse me. Pittsburgh, Cincinnati. We're going to get to see how if Cincinnati is for real. Because Pittsburgh's looking good. Uh, Cincinnati 6-2. and 2-1 two. Two and one at home. We're going to see if Cincinnati's looking real. Um, I think since he's going to find a way to get this done, and I think they're going to really put a hurting on the Steelers' chances to make the playoffs this year with a, with another with two division losses in a row. I think since he gets this, uh, I think since he's going to get this, 20 to 17. Tennessee, Carolina. Man, every time I think Tennessee's starting to get their stride, they, I mean, you look at how they started, and they were looking real good. Now they're sitting at 4-4. Four and four. Uh, You know what Cam Newton's been doing. He's been doing his thing. Tennessee's on the road. Uh, you know what? I think Tennessee finds a way to get this done. Cam Newton will be good. He'll put up some numbers. But I think I think the veteran Matt Hasselbeck is not going to get outdone by Cam Newton. And I think Tennessee's going to get this done. Uh, I think it's going to be 30 to... Excuse me. I think it's going to be 36 to 30. Thank you. Tennessee. Tennessee 36, Carolina 30. Uh, Arizona, Philadelphia. Philly, all I'm going to say is Philly better win. That's all I'm going to say. They're at home against the 2-6 and six Arizona team who's 0-4 on the road. All I'm saying is Philly better win. And they're going to win. I think they're going to win big. It'll be like 30-34 to 20, and everybody's going to talk about it. They, they just beat the Cardinals, which is true. You know what I'm saying? But Philly's going to win, 34 to 20. Denver, Kansas City, you know what I'm saying? Here's another team that every time, I mean, come on, Kansas City. They're 4-4, 2-2 four four, two two at home. I mean, 2-2 two two at home, but you got Denver and Tebow. I don't know what to say. I think Kansas City's going to get this done. I don't think Tebow's going to, but you know what I'm saying? No, Tebow's not going to go in the arrowhead and get a win. It's not going to happen. Kansas City's going to get this done. It's going to be 28 to 23, Kansas City. Buffalo, Dallas. Uh, 
Man, if Dallas can, if Buffalo can get this, they will be looking really good. They'll be sitting pretty at six and three. And if the Cowboys win this, they'll be one, they'll be one game above five hundred and right in the mix. And right in the mix. It's tough to say. I think the Cowboys is gonna get this. They're at home, Buffalo. I don't think that. I don't know. Yeah, I think the, I think the Cowboys are gonna get this. I think they're gonna get it. Uh, 30 to 24, Buffalo, Cowboys 30, Buffalo 24, St. Louis, Cleveland, uh, <laughs> both of these teams are terrible too, but, uh, Cleveland's at home, St. Louis is on the road, I think Cleveland gets this, and moves to 4 and 5, so Cleveland's not that terrible, but they're still pretty terrible. Cleveland's going to get this. Uh, it's going to be ugly. It's going to be 17 to 10. Washington, Miami. Two more terrible teams. I mean, the bottom half of the schedule sucks. We still got some good ones, though, but not really. I mean, we got some good ones. Uh, Washington, Miami. These both. I think Miami's not going to. I think Washington gets this. Washington finds a way to win this. Uh, 24 to 20. Baltimore, Seattle, my Seahawks. Can they really, do they really stand a chance against the Ravens? Nobody's picking them to win this game. And they're at home. I mean, they're only 1-2 at home. You know what I'm saying? Quest Field, I mean, excuse me, CenturyLink Field is supposed to be that home field advantage. 12th man, we ain't getting it done. Against a tough 6-2 and two Baltimore team. Oh. You see what they just did to the Steelers, man. I will not pick against my Hawks. They will win. They will win. Tavares Jackson will come out and have a great game. Marshawn Lynch will come out and have a great game. And Seattle's going to win 20-14. to 14. Giants at San Francisco. This is actually going to be a really good game. This Giants-San Francisco game. San Francisco, can you believe San Francisco 7-1? I don't believe it myself. I have to admit, they're a good team. I mean, they're, they're like the second best team in the NFC. Behind Green Bay. 7-1. 6-2 uh, Giants, San Francisco. Uh, you know what? I think San Francisco finds a way to get this done. They're going to move to 8-1. Uh, yeah. I think San Francisco is going to win this. Their defense is tough. It's going to be San Francisco... 20, the Giants, 17. Chicago, Detroit. This is another good week. So this, the schedule picks up at the real end. It was, the middle part of it is a couple week games, but it picks up at the end. Detroit, Chicago, this is going to be a good one. Chicago is climbing right back in this division. And they got, you know, Detroit, we've seen what Detroit's been doing. So, uh, man, Chicago's at home. Detroit's going to get tested. But I think they're going to pass the test because you cannot stop Megatron. Simple. Point blank bottom line. You can't stop Megatron. So I think Chicago is going to lose. I think Detroit gets this. Uh, I think Detroit goes in there and puts up some big points and then they're going to try to get into a shootout with them. And come on, man. Chicago ain't going to put no shootout. But uh, Detroit's going to get them 34 to 30. New England and the Jets. Are you serious? It's real serious. Yes. New England and the Jets, man. Uh, Jets at home. 4-0 at home, believe it or not. They haven't lost at home. And the Pats is only 2-2 two two on the road, man. Saying both teams sitting at 5-3. and three. You know that AFC East was all bunched up. We're going to get some clarity after this week, I'll tell you that. Um, I think Amy England's going to get this. I think they're going to get this. I think they're going to go in there and say, come on, homie, don't forget this is still our division. And they're going to win. And, uh, yeah. And they're going to win 28 to 17. I don't think the Jets are going to be able to do much on offense. And Monday night, Minnesota, Green Bay. Minnesota's terrible. Green Bay's undefeated. This is going to be a blowout. Green Bay's going to... And that Green Bay's at home? Come on, man. This is going to be a blowout. 
Green Bay is going to win uh, 45 to 26. There you go. I'm giving Minnesota 26 points. Christian Potter hasn't looked that terrible. He's looked pretty good. Christian Potter has actually looked pretty good. But come on, Aaron Rodgers, that, that, they're a machine right now. <laughs> on offense, they're a machine. They give up some point. They give up some points on defense, and they give up some yards. But Minnesota's not going to be able to capitalize. I think AP will have a big day, but Green Bay's going to roll. They're going to put up like 45 points. So there you have it. That's Week 10. Some really good games. A couple bad ones in the middle. I didn't mean to bash the schedule, but uh, it's going to be a good game. It's going to be a good week. We got some tough division games. We're going to get some clarity after this week. Uh, Holla at me on Twitter, at Mr. Vaughn Sweatbox. Hit me up on Facebook. You know me. It's your boy, Mr. Vaughn. All right, peoples, I'm done. I'm going to hit you up next week for week 11. Mr. Vaughn Sweatbox Locks of the Week. Peace, y'all.